name is Gabby. And my name is Lulu. And today we're here at the Montreal Regional Science and Technology Fair. Can you show us your project? So, as you can see here, this is my project. It's called burning calories. Now, if you think about burning calories, you think about exercising and working out, right? Well, in my project, I literally burned cal calories because, as you can see here, I burned the food. And the w reason I'm doing that is to learn how much calories is in the food. The basic idea of it is to burn the food item and to release all the stored energy in it. By releasing all those stored energy at once through the chemical reaction of burning, I can determine by using this formula how much calories is in it. When you were making this project, did it make you think of maybe a future career? It did, actually. Um, this, first of all, this project, uh, what prompted me to do this is because many of my relatives are actually diabetic and obese. So ma the main goal, I can say, of uh, this project is to raise awareness on the importance of, balance, of, of uh, balanced diet. And I want to encourage my community to avoid consuming empty calories. You know what empty calories are? Empty calories, we can say that they're the bad calories because although they do add to our overall calorie intake, they don't have those nutritional values. And what is your project? Hey. So uh, basically, I'm going to show you uh, how it works. Basically, there's a house, and inside the house, there's a, like a sun, you can say, that represents the sun. So the more brighter it is, the less light you need in your house. What's the hardest part about making the project? Uh, it was learning how to do it because I didn't really have any help from outside. I had to learn it by myself using uh, YouTube videos and the uh, resources uh, Royal West gave me. What was the coolest part about making this? The coolest part was me meeting new people and people saying that I did a great job. Uh, it just was really motivating. What's your project about? My passion is about figuring out whether antioxidants have any benefits for fruit flies or not, or if it might apply to humans. Very cool. So what was the hardest thing about making this project? I think probably the longest days in the long days in the laboratory and staying there from nine o'clock to four o'clock in the afternoon. It was probably like the hardest part. What was the coolest part? Oh definitely working with the professional researchers, with the professional instruments and having a one lifetime experience at the laboratory at McGill. Very cool. Thanks. Was there any parts that were too hard for you to do? Um, there were some parts where you had to deal with chemicals to make the food for the fruit flies, and so I had to ask some professionals to help me handle the chemicals. What was your favorite part, probably, of making it? Probably working with the fruit flies are an exceptional model to work with. I love working with the fruit flies and observing them. They're pretty unique. Can you explain your project to us? So basically what happens is when you press this button over here, it will indicate to, to move this motor to the left. So it will tell you how far you are from the wall on the left. Then it will move to the center, tell you how far you are from something straight in front of you. And then to the right, how far you are from something on the right. And then it will go back to normal until you press the button again. So basically when you're close to the wall, it will detect the wall for you. So now watch, we're very close, right? Now watch as we get further away. It's going slower, right? When you get closer, it will go faster again. This is Gabby and this is Lulu. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to think science and technology.